Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Christy Shive, Warren County Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Christy, today you're going to share some tips that are probably on a lot of people's mind right now that might be looking for a job or maybe looking to switch jobs. That's right. So, right now, many people might be in the position where they might need to think about applying for a job. Even if you don't fall into that category, it's always a smart thing to be prepared. So we are going to talk about a cover letter and a resume because um, even though some positions might not require you to have one, many do. So it's very important to have those tools on hand. And it's probably better now to kind of do some research, maybe do some practice, and have one available and ready when that perfect job comes up. That's right. So, Joanna, many people think that a cover letter and resume are the same thing, but they are two separate things that are typically paired together. So a cover letter is a tool that really shows personality and entices the employer to want to look at what is on the resume. And the resume is for the facts. Mm -hmm. so, um, so a few steps that I have for you today are to build a good cover letter. So step one is to analyze the position description. Mm -hmm. So whenever you're applying for a job, the employer is probably going to list what they are looking for. And so this is a time for you to see what are the requirements. And then step two is to see how you measure up. And this is a time for you to really highlight what strengths that you have that are going to match that position description because you want to show them that you do have some qualities that you can bring to the table. And then step three is to draft your letter. So there's uh, three main sections to the cover letter. First, you want to start off with a catchy but professional introduction. You want them um, to see that you are professional and taking it seriously, but that you have something special to give. Uh, then two, summarize your strengths. Again, uh, relate them to that position description. And then three, uh, just close it out with a clear and concise with a call to act um, conclusion. So give your information, maybe a signature, uh, printed and signed is always good too. And I think your cover letter kind of sets the tone for the employer. If there's a lot of typographical errors, if the grammar isn't correct, or if the position is even wrong. I've had those before, Christy, where they have, they're applying for another position maybe and just replace some things. That really sets the tone to whether you want to go forward and look at their resume. It really does. And so these employers are probably looking at a lot of resumes and job applications. So you want to be respectful of their time and you want to grab their attention right away. So then whenever it comes to writing your resume, you want to really make sure that you're including um, some key components and there's so many different kinds of uh, resumes that you can choose um, but just make sure that you are including some key information and we have more information on that but a few tips that I have just make sure that the information that you are um, providing on your resume is current up to date and that it's professional if you have an email that you created when you were maybe in high school it might might not be the most professional. So really stop and think, is this um, professional and appropriate? And if, um, if you are applying for a job that is related to social media, then it might be appropriate to have a um, social media page listed, but if not, then probably steer clear of that. All right, well, great tips, Christy. I know you got you actually teach this as part of curriculum, so if people have questions or need more information, they can contact you? Absolutely. We do career readiness programs. I'm doing some virtual career readiness programs, so you can contact me um, here at the Warren County Extension Office. All right, thanks, Christy, for the information. We appreciate you watching and hope you have a great day.